I have to be honest, I've been watching programmes like Outlander. They're constantly talking about stone circles and stone circles and the Highlands and Orkneys and Shetland. But here in the borders, the English and the Scottish side of the border, we've got stone circles too. But because our history is so turbulent, so violent, the majority of these have been destroyed or are flattened. Traces of them can be found. But there is one, one which is still quite fantastic. And that's where I'm heading now. I've never actually been to this site before. It's just over the, the border into to England and Northumberland. And it's known as Dado Stone Circle. But why were these things constructed by the ancients? This one's almost 4,000 years old. The sight of this 4,000 year old stone circle on the horizon there really is spiritual. really don't expect to find these things around here. You would really think they were the preserve of the highlands and islands, but no, they're here in the borders, the borderlands. This is Northumberland. I reckon there were more of these in the borders than what there are in the highlands before the Scottish Wars of Independence and the Roman invasion and everything else that's happened here. What were these things for? Why did the Druids or whoever it was from thousands of years ago erect these gargantuan huge structures? They weren't just for fun. Investigations here at Duddo have proved that there were more standing stones than the five that are here just now. But also, they have shown that right in the centre of the circle was a huge fire pit. And also, there were clay fragments found around that fire pit, which could all be associated with funeral pyres. So was this stone circle a crematorium? The place where the ancients had their last rites before they passed to the spirit world. But anyway, I was watching that uh, Outlander, and I'm just wondering if, if, you know.
Wait a minute. When am I? Everything's been black and white. I must have went back in time. Oh no! No! Help me! I need to get back to 2017. Because remember, the stories and the standing stones in the Scottish borders are not outlander. They're real. Help! 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 I really do want to investigate other stone circles on the border, so if anybody Scottish borders in particular, so if anybody does know of any, please comment. I'll get on it.